Over the course of 500 plus episodes, The Simpsons have certainly left a lot of questions unanswered, whether it's because of plot holes, flexible reality, or the writers simply messing with us. Today we'll look at the most speculated upon topic in the series, what state is Springfield in? Before we get started, I want to say that much of my research should be credited to the good people at the Simpsons Archive, formerly smpp.com, as well as the Simpsons Wiki. Among other lists, these websites have entire guides on this particular topic, listing every single time a US state has been mentioned on the show. I'm doing more or less a summary on these data points. I encourage everyone to check out these sites if you want to learn more. That being said, there are many difficulties in actually nailing down what state Springfield could be in. Mostly because it's all a bunch of crap and the writers like having fun with it. According to various different episodes, Springfield is in a state with an ocean, a large mountain range, Springfield Gorge, and a huge frickin' desert. And yet it still manages to snow every Christmas there. So needless to say, determining what state Springfield could be in is going to be an inexact science. Let's instead narrow things down by process of elimination. We have to start somewhere, and the Simpsons movie is a good enough place as any. During a hiking trip, Ned Flanders lifts off all the states that their state borders. Ohio, Nevada, Maine, and Kentucky. Now obviously there is no state that borders all of these at the same time, unless of course they live in some weird dimension where the US map is all wonky. However, they have shown the US map several times on the show, so in this case we'll just have to assume that Flanders is joke diddly oking right here. But it does eliminate these four states from contention because he obviously wouldn't have listed them if Springfield were in those states. Or maybe I just don't get Flanders' sense of humor. But either way, we can probably eliminate them. We can also eliminate Alaska since the Simpsons travel there in the movie, clearly entering the state border. And we can eliminate Hawaii since you know, they drove to Alaska. Also, no one on The Simpsons has ever said aloha, which I'm told is a thing in Hawaii. We can eliminate a whole bunch of other states thanks to this joke and much apu about nothing. During the episode, Homer shows apu where Springfield is on the map. Lisa corrects him, saying Springfield is nowhere near it, and points to it. Bart blocks the correct answer, but we can see many states that Lisa is obviously not pointing to. We can therefore eliminate the entire West Coast, along with Idaho, Utah, Arizona, Montana, and Wyoming. On the East Coast, we can eliminate Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, New York, Washington, D.C., and fortunately, all of New England. I say fortunately because a bunch of those New England states are really small and are difficult to see on this map. I mean, really, Rhode Island. You're just embarrassing yourself. During Mr. Lisa Goes to Washington, we get a peek at some of the other states' finals aside from Springfield, including both Alabama and Minnesota. Therefore, Springfield cannot be in either of those states. Insert Alabama and Minnesota joke here. Speaking of Mr. Lisa Goes to Washington, there have been plenty of other places that The Simpsons have visited, implying that Springfield is not in those states. For example, they traveled to Michigan during Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Bart and his friends visited Tennessee and Bart on the Road. And then the family visited America's Wang itself, Florida, in the unforgettable Kill the Alligator and Run. This episode also takes care of North Dakota, as that is one of the last two states The Simpsons can consider for a vacation in the future. And we can probably eliminate South Dakota too, since Bart confuses that one with North Dakota. I'd like to note that this map also suggests the Simpsons are not welcome in their own state as well, whatever it is. In the Season 17 episode, Kiss Kiss Bangalore, Homer travels to India, which we all know is not part of the US. But he does think he's initially traveling to Indiana, so we can cross off that state as well. We can also probably cross off Iowa and West Virginia because of Moaning Lisa. In that episode, Lisa mentions Iowa farmers and West Virginia coal miners, and Mr. Largo declares that none of those people are going to be at their concert. You could argue that maybe he just doesn't expect miners or farmers there, but the fact that he is so sure about it, combined with Lisa describing the states by name, means it's fairly unlikely that Springfield is in either state. There are a couple instances of specific cities being mentioned using their full city and state title. For example, Chief Wiggum mentions Louisiana in Radio Bart, as he describes some machinery they need in Shreveport, Louisiana, instead of just saying Shreveport. In Bart Mangled Banner, Mayor Quimby refers to a city previously called Hitler City, North Carolina, before they change it to Charlotte. And returning back to Bart on the road again, Nelson declares he wants to visit Macon, Georgia. This is going to be somewhat arguable, but it'll be very odd for a character to mention the name of the state if they were in that state already. For example, if you're from Texas, you would probably not say that you're driving to Dallas, Texas. You would just say you're driving to Dallas. Unless, of course, you just love Texas and love saying that word. So maybe this wasn't a good example. But the point is, assuming Wiggum, Quimby, and Nelson aren't a bunch of overly specific weirdos, we can probably cross off Louisiana, North Carolina, and Georgia. 
I didn't know how to organize the rest of these, so here's a hodgepodge of leftover stuff. We know Springfield is not in Texas because of who shot Mr. Burns, as William says it's the only one who might try Maggie for her crime. It can't be New Mexico either, as Homer in Boy Scouts in the Hood and Mr. Burns in Homer vs. Dignity are both surprised there is a new version of Mexico. In Little Big Girl, Homer orders Rocky Mountain Chew from Colorado, implying this is an out-of-state purchase. In The Bart Wants What It Wants, Homer tells Lisa he will send her to the finest school there is, in South Carolina. Mississippi is eliminated during Simpson Califragilistic Expialidocious, as Skinner describes Mississippi as the only other state where selling children is legal. In The Bart of War, Nelson complains that the already cleaned up park looks like Wisconsin. And finally, during Homer Badman, Grandpa Simpson refuses to recognize Missouri as a state. As he should. After all of that analysis and three glasses of water, this leaves us with only six states remaining. Arkansas, Illinois, Kansas, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and Virginia. These poor states can't even get a mention even after 500 episodes of The Simpsons. Although technically Oklahoma did get a mention in the twisted world of Marge Simpson during that joke about Oklasoft, the logic of that joke kind of implies it's in a different state, but it's still possible for them to be talking about their own, so Oklahoma stays in for now. So at this point, it's really up to personal opinion what references on the show you want to accept and what you want to ignore. Like if we want to stick to the idea that Springfield is near a desert, then Springfield is more likely to be in Oklahoma. But that state is not connected to an ocean, which is something that has been in many episodes. Therefore, Springfield must be in Virginia, right? Not necessarily. There have been several Civil War references in the series, all of which have consistently suggested Springfield State as being part of the Union, not the Confederacy. So if we're going by the Civil War alone, then Springfield can only be in Illinois or Kansas. Basically, the whole thing is a big mess, and you're not going to get an answer you could be truly happy with. Overall, I personally prefer the Illinois theory the most. The references to Jebediah Springfield and log cabins and Civil War stuff seem very east of the Mississippi to me in terms of its heritage, and Illinois is far enough north that to get a consistent amount of snow that Springfield gets during the winter. Not to say it doesn't snow in Kansas or Virginia, because it most certainly does, but Illinois probably hits that extreme better than the other two states. There have also been a couple images from the series that seem to imply Illinois as well. In the season 14 episode, Bart vs. Lisa vs. the Third Grade, the satellite signal they show seems to be coming from Illinois. And in season 24's What Animated Women Want, they do a zoom out that puts Springfield in the Chicago area. However, Springfield being Chicago would contradict much of Pooh about nothing, since Lisa says Springfield is nowhere close to there. So maybe they're in southern Illinois, or maybe Kansas, or maybe Virginia. Of course, there is the conclusion that Springfield is actually in none of the U.S. states and are in fact in a fictional one instead. As we all learned in social studies class, there is no state capital called Capital City no matter how many times you tried writing it in. In fact, David Silverman, one of the original directors of the series, has declared that Springfield is in North Tacoma, and the state initials NT have popped up from time to time. Perhaps the answer is that Springfield is supposed to be every town USA, and their state is supposed to be a symbol for all of America. Perhaps by keeping it intentionally vague, we can all feel connected to the series in one way or another. We watch them shovel their driveways and say, hey, I can relate to that. We watch them bake during their humid summers and tell ourselves, thank goodness for our air conditioning. We look at their rivers and forests and beaches and mountains and think about the places we ourselves have been. It doesn't really matter that Matt Groening will never tell us exactly where Springfield is, because we all know in our little heart of hearts that Springfield is exactly like where we happen to live. So perhaps the question isn't, what state is Springfield in? Perhaps the question is, why can't it just be in every state? Or maybe it's just in Arkansas after all. I don't know.